When it comes to painting, I'm always going to be a dilettante. I really ought to train more. I'll start tomorrow. That's a long time ago. The picture shows my mother just before her accident. A torch. So, the London Modern. I've had another look at the plans. This is what we're going to do. Tomorrow, Bernard and me will take the boat to the drain by the museum early evening. Mike, you park your van in front of the museum. Tap into the cameras and be at the ready. I'll swim through the drain and get into position in front of the cellar door. Bernard, you position yourself in front of the museum in a guard's uniform. At 11 p.m., they change the guards. At 10.50, the guard will unlock the main door. That gives us a window of almost 10 minutes. At 10.50, I'll call the internal phone in Exhibition Area 2. While the guard's on his way there, Bernard enters the museum, goes to the surveillance room, opens the door, and turns off the recorders. Mike, you watch over the cameras and let Bernard know when he can leave the building again. I'll open the cellar door with the bump key and then go upstairs. Then I'll swap the pictures and head straight back. Bernard, in the meantime, you should be back at the van. You two get out of there without attracting attention. I'll take the boat. We'll meet back at the loft. Is everything clear? Crystal. Good. Then please go and check the kit and prepare the boat and the van. I'll go round to Roberts. Hopefully he's finished. Perfect copy. Robert? Hey, how are you? Fine. You don't look very well. The painting's finished. Great. You're a treasure. We're doing it tonight. Are you nervous? Well, yeah, a bit. But that's part of it. Sure. You'll manage. Robert, what's wrong with you? Has something happened? Can we help you? Ah, everything's fine. Perhaps I'm just getting a bit too old for the stress. Come on now, you can tell me. Are you still afraid? Well, I've been thinking, Catherine. Oh? What is it? You know, I think it's time for you to quit. It's time for all of us to quit. You're scared that we'll get caught, right? Things have changed, Catherine. This isn't just fun anymore. It was never just fun. Yes, it was. A couple of do-gooders having fun playing Robin Hood. It's not like that anymore. You're saying that as if we were terrorists. We're not causing anyone any harm. We help people. Ah, that's what we want to believe, Catherine. But of course we cause people harm. Those who we deceive, those who we lie to, those who we steal from. We aren't the liars and thieves in this world. Yes, we are. I really don't know what's got into you all of a sudden. What's different now to the past five years? Is someone threatening you? You're too young to throw your life away. And you're too old to continue going on like this. Oh, you sound like my father. I sound like someone who cares for you. I know that. You need a rest. Perhaps we all need a bit of a break. We'll take a break after the summer, okay? I promise. Is there anything you need? Have you got enough money? Uh, I'll be fine for the time being. Give Bernard a few more pounds instead. 
Why? Is he broke? He borrowed 2,000 from me. Why did he do that? He said that he still owes his ex-wife money. Why doesn't he talk to me about that? You aren't supposed to know anything about this. I thought I'd tell you because you're such close friends. I thought we were too. Don't be so hard on him. He's ashamed of himself. Ashamed of himself? You men really are weird. Okay, I've got to go now. The others will be waiting. Say hello from me. And take care of yourselves. You look after yourself. And don't worry. I'll call you tomorrow if everything goes to plan. There we go. Ah, there you are. Did everything go okay? Yeah, it's all good. I've got the picture. And? How's McBride doing? Is he still having his panic attacks? I'll tell you later. Have you got everything ready? Of course. Ready to go. Okay, friends. Break a leg. See you at the museum. All right, then. Take care of yourselves. Then let's go. Just a minute. I want to ask you something, Bernard. Have you got money problems? Yes, I do. Bernard, not problems, okay? If you... If there's a problem, I should know about it. I don't gamble anymore. That's what you want to do. Don't be offended. I'm just asking because... Who have you spoken to? No one. What are you always doing in the city, Bernard? Are you spying on me? Is there a reason for me to? Listen, I've got things to sort out. With Michelle. Private things. Satisfied? Since when have you been back in contact? I thought... Catherine, we're friends and we live together. You're important. But I don't need to keep a log of my life for you. I'm a few years older than you. There are lots of things I can decide without you. Okay. Let's go then. Exactly. Bernard will get changed here at the boat and then go to the surveillance room. I'll get ready to dive then. Are you guys ready? Of course. Okay. Then let's get started. I'm at the door. Bernard, everything all right? I'm at the entrance. Mike, where's the guard? In the target area. Okay. I'll call the phone now. No problem. Mike? I can see you. You can go.
Okay, Mike. Good work. There we go. Let me know when you're ready. You can see the whole of the museum from here. You can see the whole of the museum from here. Apparently they're turned off overnight. That's it. Get yourself out of there. On my way. Catherine. It's up to you now. Where's the guard? In the corridor at the front. Catherine, go. Vernon, come to the van. I'm in the cellar. Okay. to get through the cellar. and not one bit of shut-eye. Still 80 degrees out there and the darn heap doesn't have aircon. The present position? I'm back at square one. Ellen Henston is happy that her charming husband's dead and she's not making any secret of it. But she's got an alibi and he'd signed over a couple of properties to her. For tax reasons, of course. She's now free to enjoy some good times with that old Henston. Seems to get on awfully well with her gardener, too. But hey, what's that matter to me? Of course, she's going to contest the will, too, and I can totally understand that. I've also, of course, spoken to the main beneficiary, Michelle Fielding, as far as that was possible. It was impossible that she fulfilled any assistant duties whatsoever. She can barely count to three. She doesn't have an alibi and doesn't actually need one. I don't think she could even spell the word murder. So who else do we have? Nancy Jenkins is a hate-filled prostitute. Laureen Myers is a nice, cold businesswoman, but neither of them would kill anyone. Maybe the old turkey really did just keel over himself. Well, sometimes it is the right ones whose numbers come up. I've spoken to the picture shippers. They're completely harmless. The only thing that occurred to me was that they both looked pretty unwell, and one of them was wearing a darned expensive watch. Probably a fake from China. I'll have to tell the chief that everything's just dandy here. Henson's dead, nobody's missing him. End of story. Oh, what's all the darn racket about? Hmm, that's coming from the museum. What the hell's going on there? I'm gonna go take a look. I have to do something else first. Minister Henston's organizer. Hmm, what are their names again? Nancy Jenkins, Laureen Myers, Art Trans. Put your hands up. Hey, hey, wait a 
Take it a second. Keep cool. I parked close by. I thought you might need some help. With... Hands up. Now. All right. All right. I'm a policeman. Jack Stern. International Police. We'll soon find out who you are. Listen. My ID is in the car. If you could just... You're staying put. I've already called the police. You can tell them what you're doing here. Come on, man. Just let me get my ID from the car. Stay where you are! I only want to get my darn ID, you bonehead. <laughs> Sorry. We'll have to wait for the police first. Well, heroes, how did you sleep? Badly. Not at all. I dreamt that a special commando unit burst down the door and took me off to prison. And I don't want to talk about what happened next. I, I was just laying awake. Things to think about. Hey, what's wrong with you guys? All in all, it went really well. Sure. We were within an inch of getting caught. We're not doing it like that again. I'd rather go on demos again. That's better for my nerves. I really don't know what's wrong with you two. We're doing the handover soon, and then we'll distribute the money. That's great, isn't it? This is the biggest deal we've ever done. Hmm. And if they catch us, we'll get the toughest punishment we could ever wish for. Stop that, Mike. The guy at the jetty saw us. What's more, the camera at the car park saw us. If that damn alarm hadn't gone off... I'm sorry. Can we leave it at that? So, when's the stupid handover? At three. All right, then. Let's go. Bernie, are you coming? I can't. I've got an appointment. Again. Listen, what's actually going on? You've got appointments every five minutes. Leave him. Why? What is this? A pensioner's conspiracy? Bernard has private things to clear up, Mike. Leave him be. Ah, private things. Hell, I think I've got a couple of private things to sort out too. Instead, I hang around with you two, almost get locked up and live off £3.50, because I apparently owe my every waking hour to making this a better world. Mike, that's enough now. We can talk about that later. Later? Later? Heck. Right, then let's go now. See you later, Bernard.